Hey guys, it's Heather from Cal of a Plan. Today I am here making a summer bucket list for my mini happy planner. So this is a mini pocket page divider. You can get these at Michael's. Um, these are the new pocket page cards that just came out for the mini happy planner. So I pulled some of my favorites out. Um, so I thought these were really good springy colors. This one came from the seasonal pocket page card. It says Happy Mother's Day, but I'm planning on actually covering that up. And then I thought that this yellow one was a really good um, accent color as well. So I'm gonna be using these cards. I'm gonna be putting them in this pocket page divider, and I'm going to be using the seasonal sticker pack, the spring bucket list page, as well as some of these other springy stickers that are on um, other parts of this sticker book. So those are the tools that you're going to need. And I'll also have a tape runner just in case. Um, I may not need it, we'll have to see. So the first thing that I wanna do is I want to cover where it says Happy Mother's Day because I don't really want it to say Happy Mother's Day. So what I'm gonna do is this sticker matches pretty well. It's that same um, brown. So I'm going to trim this some to kind of help me get a smaller piece And trim it up and then I'm just going to so it's a little too wide so I'm going to cut it a little bit more which I'm actually going to be able to use these later so I'm going to use it to cover up there and also down here now that's obviously not a perfect cover up, but I'm then going to take this sticker that says spring bucket list and I'm going to cut it some. And this is going to help me cover up those other spots. So I'm cutting it into three words and I'm going to put this bucket down first. Then I'm going to take the one that says spring. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to take the one that says list so that it now says spring bucket list. And then I can just take this. Let's see here. Where is there's the entry point and it will end up going just like that. But then I can also put stuff on the back of that card. So now instead of saying Happy Mother's Day, it says Spring Bucket List. And I'm actually going to tape these two together so that this yellow is on the back. Instead of that red color. Whoops, just lay that down crooked. Okay, so then I can just go ahead slide that in and then I may pull it out later to put some stickers back here. I'll have to decide. Okay, so then I have four of these cards. And so I'm going to put this one here, this one here, and then these will go backwards so that on this side I can put bucket list items, but on the back it'll be a quote. So I hope that makes sense. So the first thing I'm going to do is on this one I'm going to pick one of these that I would like to put. So I really like this one that says splash and rain puddles. So I'm going to put that here. And while I'm thinking about it, the memory sticker book has some rain boot stickers. So that will be really cute to go over here and add these cute little rain boot stickers. Okay, so that's gonna be my first spring bucket list item. And on the back, it already has a little quote. So I can go ahead and slide this one in. And I have my first bucket list item with a quote on the back. All right, so then this one is gonna go like this but I'm going to put something on the back. So 
let's see here. We have a have a barbecue, um, which I think there was a barbecue sticker in the summer section. So I wonder if I've already used. I think I have already used that one. No, I haven't. See, there's that one. So. I'm going to grab this one, this little barbecue. That's really cute. I'm gonna put it like that. Then I'm gonna grab this one that says, have a barbecue. I'm gonna cut it a little bit. You guys know I love to cut the edge of stickers. And I'm gonna put it just like so. And then I'm gonna flip back to those summer pages because I had, it had a hot dog, I think. At least I thought it did. Yeah. So it'll be cute. And Matthew just got a new grill. So that'll actually be really cute. So I'm actually gonna then slide it in this way so that on the front it says big plans, but on the back it says have a barbecue. Okay, so next I have this cute quote for this side and I'm going to put um, another bucket list item. So let's go back over here. And this says Easter egg hunt, which I love. Easter egg hunts. Now that I have like nieces and nephews again, Easter egg hunts are so much fun. So we're gonna put it just like that. I'm going to cut the edge. Then if I go back over here, there were some really cute bunnies, which kind of goes with Easter, right? And so I'm going to put this really cute bunny just like that. Trim it up. That's really cute. And then I feel like I feel like it needs like maybe some little flowers just to make it a little cuter. All right, so then I'm just gonna slide this one just like that. So now I have two bucket list items on this side. So then over here, I need another bucket list item. So we have wear green, um, so that would be like St. Patrick's Day, fly a kite, shop at the farmer's market. I think that one's cute, the shop at the farmer's market, which I think in the memory planner book, there's like a shopping bag. Isn't there like a black and white stripe? It's, I, I guess it's not necessarily a shopping bag. I think it's more of a purse, but it would look cute. Could have sworn it was in here. I'm gonna look really silly if it wasn't. Yes, see that kind of looks like a shopping bag. So, I know it's technically a purse, but that'll still be cute. So I'm gonna kind of hang off the page like this. Then I'm going to grab these flowers that are also in the memory because it kind of looks like something that would be you know, fresh flowers from the farmer's market. That's a thing, right? And then I'm gonna stick that just like that. I feel like it still needs something. So I'm gonna use these cute little dots. These are also in 
the memory planner book. And I'm gonna slide that in just like that. So squash and rain petals, shop at the farmer's market, have a barbecue Easter egg hunt. Now here it says this week was amazing, but I'm gonna peel that off or put, take that out. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pull um, one of these stickers. Oh no. Let's have it say, remember. I'm gonna cover that up. Just using some little circle stickers so instead of saying this week is amazing it just says remember and then I can you put another um, cute little something there so I'm trying to look at what stickers I want to use Um, I love to dye Easter eggs. If you didn't know that about me, you do now. You probably wouldn't have known that about me. I don't know how you would have known that. Um, but I love dyeing Easter eggs. And so, that's also going to go So I have dyeing eggs, splash and rain puddles, Easter egg hunt, shop at the farmer's market, have a barbecue. Those are cute. Now, now that I've done this, I'm kind of thinking that I actually want to cover these quotes up, at least that one. So, and put some more bucket list items. So I'm just going, this matches pretty well. I'm going to cover it up with this cute little pattern and I'm gonna use it for another bucket list item. So, this one says, bake cookies, spring cleaning, go on a picnic, cook a meal for mom, which I could cook a meal for Matthew's mom. What if I put cook a meal for mom? I'm gonna say Matthew's mom since. Oh, that's kind of hard to read though because of the pattern and this being a clear sticker. Can't really read that there. This one says plant flowers and it's on top of plant flowers. It's still kind of hard to read, but so plant flowers, have a barbecue, Easter egg hunt, shop at the farmer's market. Now I kind of want to cover at least one of these up. Because since this is more of, I mean, the per whole purpose of this is to make a spring bucket list, then I want it to kind of be, you know, a spring bucket list. All right, so this one says St. Patrick's Day. And this one says wear green. And then I think this one back here, there was one that said Lucky. Oh, or it's just a four-leaf clover. Actually, that's a three-leaf clover, isn't it? Come on, Mandy. All right, that's cute.
gonna slide that in. Which this won't be up on my YouTube channel until after St. Patrick's Day, but I'm filming this before St. Patrick's Day. So that is something that can be on. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Okay, so I have one more spot left. Um, so I think it will be cute to cover like this. So cover that quote up because again, I've decided that I want this to be all a spring bucket list. And let's put, I really like this one that says go on a picnic. And I'm gonna add these cute little flowers. All right, cut, cut, slide that in. All right, so spring bracket list on this side, this side, this is kind of blank, so I may throw a quote of some kind or maybe some flowers onto that, but for the most part, I'm finished. Um, I hope that you liked this video. I hope you like what you saw. If you did, I hope that you'll hit the like button. If you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button, and happy planning.